Tonight at 5, a change in leadership at the Pennsylvania State House. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 5. I'm Evan Forrester. After a dramatic few weeks to start off this year's legislative session, the new Democratic majority chose a new Speaker of the House. Fox 43's Harry Lee joining us now live from the state capitol with more on how that could affect which laws are passed. Well, the change comes after a tumultuous two months in the House, which was essentially shut down until they were able to pass a measure aimed at helping adult survivors of child sexual abuse. Now, that piece of legislation was the signature piece for Speaker of the House Mark Rossi. Now that it's passed, he says his work as Speaker is done. Madam Chief Clerk, I resign the Speakership effective immediately. Speaker of the House Mark Rossi stepped down, immediately replaced by former Democratic leader Joanna McClinton. Congratulations, Madam Speaker. McClinton was the party's expected choice for the role. She becomes the first female African American Speaker of the House. Her first role of order, ending the partisan bickering that marked the beginning of this session. I am confident that we can collaborate. We don't have to criticize. I am confident that we can debate. We don't have to disparage each other. I am confident that we can replace our short-sighted political game with sincere and productive cooperation. The sentiment shared across the aisle. Republican leader Brian Cutler said in a statement, right now the House is in dire need of a reset, and I remain committed to working with anyone who is willing to work with us to find solutions. Two versions of the bill were passed in order to increase the chance that one ends up being signed into law. We have done our job in the House of Representatives. It's the Senate over here that continues to fail to do their job. Their future in the Senate, though, remains uncertain. The measure was passed there, but bundled with two unrelated measures deeply unpopular with Democrats. Both House and Senate Democrats say they will only support the bill as a standalone measure. It's offensive that people would suggest that on this issue that they be used as a bargaining chip to get other things that Republicans want to get. Senate Majority Leader Joe Pittman maintains Republicans will not take up the issue again, saying in a statement, the Senate has fulfilled and completed our commitment to address the issue of statute of limitations for child sex abuse victims. Now, Mark Rossi's tenure as Speaker of the House may be over, but his work on this issue is not. I just spoke to him a few minutes ago, and he tells me that he is considering expanding the bills that they would pass in the House, including repassing both bills in regular session, another attempt to pressure the Senate to take on those bills. He's also considering passing the Senate bill that was coupled with other measures, except that they would amend it to take those measures out, and then they would send it back to the Senate for concurrence. Live in Harrisburg, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.